All right, here we go. Ooh, imagine falling off the side of that. Oh, late swerve. Did a decent job doing it, though. Oh, white stage until last second. Good swerve. Oh, you got a little brown in you. You good? <laughs> All right. All right, so last second. Um, we're, we're, oh, where's my pen? Let's go ahead and get, let's get my pen up. There we go. So we're traveling, we're traveling. This guy's going to go last second and swerve. So he didn't have the total stopping distance that he should have. Also, this uh, motorcycle rider does not have a rock form mount. Nothing to really against him. I had a ram out for a very long time, but rock form's a little better, just saying. Uh, use code Dana 25. But anyways, uh, you're going to notice that we're in lane position two. Okay, about like two and a half. Okay, we're like right here. So as soon as he sees this person swerve out of the way, all this guy does, all our guy has to do is just do this real quick and pretty much get into a lane filtering position. Being over here and having to swerve all the way to the right is uh, a little bit scary. So when you position yourself for safety, remember you want to position yourself for line of sight, escape pass, and space cushion. Great space cushion, very good space cushion. Good line of sight because the space cushion of, uh, affords it. So right here, if you're super close, look at your vision. You can't really see me. But then the further you get away from the thing in front of you, you can see around that thing really easily. So that's why he has good vision. That's why I like having a good space cushion is because you have great vision. And then his escape routes, he's choosing to be on the right side so he can escape to the right because you have this big wall over here. You can't really do much uh, when it comes to that. So good job. As soon as you see that, that is that uncommon thing in a common situation. It's like, oh, crap, we have a, a car driver swerving to the right. Why is he swerving to the right? It really doesn't matter at this point because we have somebody stopped here. It's like, okay, well, if this car driver decided to swerve to the right, I'm probably going to have to get ready for that. So I'm going to go ahead and move over a little bit. So right here, he's going to start moving to the right. And it's all zoomed in, but you can kind of tell that now we're like right here. So even if we stayed right here, we should be good. But another concern that we might have is that these car drivers, all of these, might want to go to the right also. Because what? The, our lane right here, this new lane that we're in, is moving, and this lane isn't. So that's a big, scary thing. What's up, Felissima? How you doing, man? But you see now how we're just barely moved over? That's really all I have to do sometimes, but I'm still concerned. So I got past the initial hazard. So I'm going to go ahead and see if there's no one in my mirrors, and I'm going to move to the right even more, especially if I don't have to turn left and if I'm just going straight, and this is a also a straight road or a, a through traffic road. Um, I would I'd just move over anyways, once again, to position myself for safety, to locate these hazards. I located these hazards right here, and I'm just going to adapt to these hazards by moving over. Okay, guys, plan. Okay, we haven't had to ne negotiate anything yet. Go back to the P, go back to the L, go back to the A, consistently, N if you have to. Did a good job, though. Did a great job.